Hello guys, welcome back. MG Toom here. So today we're back with another episode of Hogwarts Legacy and we're gonna do some flying classes today. Finally, something I was waiting for. Okay, so I'm gonna get right into it without wasting any time. Quest. Begin. Everybody grab a broom and we shall get started. We'll fly. Okay. Let's do this. Mr. Clopton, your attention, please. Sorry, Madam Kagawa. Everyone, please welcome a new student to our flying class. Hello. The goal of today is to remind all of you how to maneuver on a broomstick safely. As broom flight is, first and foremost, a means of transportation. Okay. This, I fear, some of you have forgotten. Diving, rolling, and loop-the-loops will not be taught or in fact tolerated in this class. We'll leave that to professional Quidditch players, like the Toyohashi Tengu. Not a fan, I take it? Now, let's see how well everyone kept up with their practice over the summer holidays. Okay, okay, I'm gonna For do this. For those who need a refresher, step up to your broom. Say up firmly and clearly. All right, then kick let's your go. leg over and let's rest go. your weight on the seat. Up. Thank you. Now, your turn. Up. Up. Up, you stupid ratty school broom. It's gonna happen in one word. Up. See? <laughs> At least let it fail a few times. One leg over, so there's a leg on each side. None of that side saddle nonsense. A gust of wind will throw you right off. I mean, technically, you're just sitting on a stick. And if you hear my whistle while you're in flight, ground yourself at once. Okay. Ooh. Good. Now, for your first lesson, fly through each ring in the this courtyard. Is... Do take care. The brooms are school property. I want them returned in one piece. Wish I had my own broom. Okay. Ah, ah, I that... think I'm getting the hang of this. Okay, I think I did it. What now? Well done. Now that you're acclimatized to your broom, let's see how well you manage with a more advanced exercise, shall we? Okay. I feel like I'm gonna mess this up. Oh no. Uh, what is exam? This next set of rings will take you around the Shift the toggle play for more of a control challenge. and space to descend. Okay. 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 What a view! <laughs> Hello. Nice okay. Day for a this should not be difficult. <laughs> This is rather fun. Shut up. Shut up. I'm concentrating. <laughs> Shut up. Okay. Oh, the old boathouse. Wish you could have experienced crossing the lake as the first year. Wait, doesn't it go any faster? Our aquatic resident likes to make an appearance once in a while. <laughs> Made it. Oh, did anyone else see that? That would that was not that difficult. This this actually very oh, easy. Well Okay. I say, I watched you fly through those rings. You seem to handle yourself on that dusty school broom well enough. I'd imagine you're ready for something a bit more challenging. But I'm getting hit ahead me. of myself. Hit me, hit me. We met Come in on. the common room. I'm Everett Clopton. I know. So, care to join me for a bit of high flying fun? We're from the same house. Want we get? I like the sound of that. Can't yeah. say no to that. What did you have in mind? A bit of a detour, so to speak. Let's go. Follow me. 
trouble the on day one. Is about to begin. Follow closely now. Right now, we're flying over the Transfiguration Courtyard. <laughs> Lovely as ever. Let's oh. hope the Headmaster isn't having tea by the oh, window my today. Bad, my bad. And this guy is confusing me. Which way are we going? Nice to get above it all, isn't it? Ahead of the gardens, the Hufflepuff common room windows just peek out. Bit claustrophobic for my taste. How is Everett flying so quickly? Here's something handy to know. Lean forward for a burst of speed. Helpful if you need to escape a tricky situation. Okay. Oh, oh. Now okay. that's more like it. Okay. You sure you're not part hippogriff? There's the famous bridge. Think of all the magic holding it up. I mean, look at it. And the owlery. That's a bit of solid architecture, isn't it? Wait, where did he go? Tips and to jaunt around Hogwarts. This is quite the tall Everett. I mean, he's just like making me fly in the That's round. Kagawa's whistle. This concludes our tour. Let's hurry back. This already dismissed class. Better hurry and hand in our brooms. Dismount here. Ooh, that was cool. I like that. Wait. Wait, what's happening? I press B so many times. Wait, I have to do it right in front of this? Okay, yeah. That's done. And where have you two been? Oh, hello, Professor. We were trying to get a bit of extra practice in. Hefty points will be taken from each of you for not following my instructions. This guy was trouble. Mr. Clopton, I'm oh, disappointed no. in you. You're in this class because you're still because you're still not showing yourself, or frankly, your broom the proper respect. But Professor, enough. Oh class my God! Class is finished for the day. Points. We cost points. As for you, you do well to use better judgment in the future. Yeah. Chin up. That was some rather good flying. Thanks. Nice. I'll make sure to get you an ice cream, a digital one. Sorry about that business with Kagawa, but you have to admit those views were worth it. Oh, I, I wasn't really. It was worth losing a interviews. few house points for that detour. You seem at home on a broom. Bet if you had a fancy model, you could fly laps around Imelda. She's Kagawa's favorite. I could show her a thing or two if I had my own broom. Hate having to return the school broom after class. Perhaps I have to purchase a broom then. If you can, you should. Wish I could. I recommend okay. visiting Albie Weeks at Spintwitch's in Hogsmeade. He's always looking to test new models. I'll keep an eye out for you in the sky. I have a lot of money. I think I can buy it. I think I can buy it. You have uncollected rewards available in challenge menu. Okay, I'm getting close to level 20 now. I do like Madame Kagawa. She's been tutoring me after class. Although okay. she is very strict when it comes to broom safety. Madam Kagawa, about what happened in class. No need to discuss it further. Losing points for Ravenclaw should serve as a deterrent against future escapades. Now, Professor Weasley has asked that I teach you a few additional spells. So please keep an eye out for an owl from me. Yeah. You're also welcome to drop by any time with questions. I've not forgotten about our library venture. How did you fare? If you're keen for some illicit spell practice, huh? meet me outside the Defense Against the Dark Arts classroom. I know a discreet place near there. Hey. Good day to you. I require assistance with a delivery and thought you might be interested. Please visit me at J. Pippin's Potions if you'd like to earn a few coins. 
I think I should do these side quests in my downtime. Please meet me in the seventh floor corridor as soon as you can. I have an idea for somewhere you can focus on your studies, away from prying eyes and distractions. Room of Requirement? Incoming, I guess? Let's see. Okay, here we go. Let's see if it is the Room of Requirement. Okay. Professor Weasley? Yeah, it is. It is. It is. Mm. It is. It is. Somewhere away from prying eyes. It's the wall. It's the wall on your left. I'm telling you. On your right now. It is this wall. It is this very wall. I'm the new generation Sherlock Holmes. Go inside. Come on. Forgive me, the headmaster stopped me and I... Merlin's beard. I see you've wasted no time. Well done. Shall we? After you, Professor. <laughs> He's like, nah, let her die first. What is this place? This is the Womb of Requirement. It only appears when one is in real need of it. Ordinarily, a student might stumble Rebellion. upon it entirely by accident. If ever. I'd only planned to suggest to you how to find it by walking past that bit of wall, focusing on what you need. But you've managed to reveal the room on your own. While I'm here, we should take advantage of the moment. Now. Where is Deke? He must have sneaked past and gone ahead. Deke, Professor? The house elf I was speaking to in my classroom your first day. Thought he might help you use the room once you've found it. There's no chance I'm clambering over this If it appears this mess. to someone in time of need, how did it appear to him? He didn't this need a room. This the perfect opportunity to teach you Evanesco, the vanishing spell. Okay. You can cast Evanesco to vanish certain objects, such as these chairs and other things here in the room. Okay. I suggest you practice the wand movements first, then you can clear the chairs away. Alright. I think I can do that. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. Oh yes. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I don't know why this makes me nervous. Splendid. Okay. Splendid. Now, cast Evanesco on those chairs. All right, wait. All right, here we go. Excellent work. You'll note that you are now in possession of Moonstone. Yeah. We shall discuss its uses later. Let's move on. It's an ingredient, obviously. Where in Merlin's name is that elf? Oh, there's something down there. I'm down there. Is that... Goodness. My old school bag. I wondered where that had got to. I can't believe it's still here. I'll just take a quick look at this. Give you an opportunity Rebellion. to explore on your own until we locate Deke. Okay. Yes, Professor. Oh, dear me. Can't you keep it down? Some of us are trying to rest. Okay. Okay. Um... Lumos. Revelio. I had to look at the button. <laughs> Revelio. Okay, there is stuff everywhere. I can't do anything here. Oh wait, 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 wait yeah, I have to pull it. Accio. Right. Or wait. Leviosa. Incendio. Oh wait, wait, wait. My bad, my bad. Accio. Wait, how do I Come on, come on, come on, come on. 
Oh, yes. I'm a genius. Revelio. There we go. That was not hard at all. Okay. Revelio. Oh my god, you just drank something you have no idea about. Okay. Hope this isn't as precarious as it looks. I don't think it is. Revelio. No, not uh, that's not helpful, you worthless pile of tin. Revelio. I'm absolutely sure I saw something here. No, I didn't see it. What is this? Okay, something. Ooh. How does anyone other than a house elf manage to get around it here? Well, you're managing to get around this place. So. Revelio. What was that? That's a golden snitch. I can. Was that it. a golden snitch? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You're kind of like. Old Perhaps school. you should summon your wits and find out. <laughs> why? Why am I not able to aim here? Revelio. Wait, I gotta explore. Okay, has to be this way. That's not a good sign. Who's that guy? It's Dobby's. Yikes! Oh. Careful! Huh? Oh, there you are. Wait right there. Deke will come to you. Hello. Ah, oh, Deke. We've been looking for you. Uh, apologies, Professor Weasley. Deke was looking through some of what's appeared in the room since Deke was last here. Is this the student? Indeed it is. Deke is honored to meet you. Deke has been a friend since I was a second year. We okay. discovered this room together. I mentioned you to Deke. We believe that you might be able to benefit from this room like I did. Deke, would you be so kind? Of course, Professor Weasley. The room of requirement will always be equipped for the Seeker's needs. It's unplottable, so won't appear on any map. Okay. Most happen upon it by accident, if ever. Deep seen students in need of an extra file for potions stumble upon the room filled with them. You seem to have accessed it in its form as the room of hidden things. I was thinking about needing a place away from prying eyes. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, that explains it then. Yeah, that what I need it. specifically is a place where I can catch up on my schoolwork without distraction. Well then, the room can provide you with precisely that. Now, it's time to focus on what you need. There is Just so close much. your eyes. Imagine the room precisely as you need it. The room will do the rest. I mean, looking at the room, it's already filled with everything. Okay. You've given yourself quite a canvas to work with. Imagined all that. I look forward to seeing what you do with the space. Ah, and it seems the room has provided you with a desk of description. Excellent. It can identify unfamiliar items of clothing. Oh, wait, I have, always understand I have one. Always I have one. The effects of anything in which one is clothed. I have one. Okay. Okay, 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 I identify. Huh? 
Oh. You'll find plenty of items of clothing that need to be identified. All right. The desk will be an invaluable resource. What else do I need? Okay. I imagine the desk of description will come in handy. It did. It will. I hope you'll take advantage of it. I took. Now, I'll give you a brief lesson in conjuring. The room might not provide everything you need on its own. Conjuring? Yes. The magic of creating or conjuring objects. That's oh so OP. You. That's overpowered. Oh, okay, okay. Space. Space. F. Mouse click and some more space. And there we go. Very good. When conjuring more complex objects, you'll need what's called a spellcraft. Spellcrafts are like recipes. They list the ingredients or resources needed to conjure a particular object. You should have acquired oh. some for a potion station and potting table from tomes and scrolls in Hogsmeade. I did. Where I... can I find the resources I need? While resources such as Moonstone can be obtained throughout the Highlands, it's much safer and easier to purchase them. They can also be collected by vanishing objects in nah, the it's room, safer such as the to chairs get them. you vanished earlier. In fact, you should have enough resources for now. I have more I than see. enough. Can I regain resources by vanishing something I've already conjured? Yes. You can indeed. Hmm, quite perceptive. No, quite Why gamer. Why don't you give it a try? Go ahead and conjure the potion station and potting table. You should find both familiar since they'll resemble the ones you've already used okay. to study magical plants and brew potions in class. Okay, let's go. Let's use the conjuring spell. Okay. Um. What am I supposed to use? They all cost the same, right? Which... Potions, yes, potions. I am supposed to do a potions one. We're gonna do it in the blue, because we're from Ravenclaw. Okay. But where? Yeah, that seems fine. Okay. Wait, no, I don't need another one. What else do I need? Um, I need... Uh, There we go. Alright. It makes sense. I have OCD. Did I place it correctly? Well done. You can use these whenever you need to brew potions or grow plants. Oh, that was place. Of course, you've collected any seeds or potion ingredients you need in Hogsmeade or outside the castle grounds. Deke will be here to answer any questions you may have. Do not underestimate his insights. Absolutely. Okay. I will be sure to speak with Deke if I need anything. Thank you. Good luck. I shall linger a bit longer in case you'd like to learn another transfiguration spell for use in the room. Okay. So what are we gonna plan? Okay, I'm gonna plan some. All right, time to do the Sebastian thing. Sebastian is like, he's like part of the gang. It's a gangster. And he protected me. Sebastian, it's been a while. Oh, he's... It has. Glad you received my owl. Okay. I have something to show you. Hey, First, go ahead. let me thank you for what you did in the library. Absolutely. Of course, Scribner tried to give me detention, but I have ways out of these things. Well, you took the fall for me, and that counts for something. That did you find for a lot. what you were looking for? I did. Uh, yes. But something was missing. I'm not sure here is the best place to discuss it. Understood. We can talk more in a moment, in the Undercroft. Not even the professors know about this place. Right. Let's go. This way. 
There's a secret passage just here. Yeah. It's well disguised. It l doesn't look like disguised. There's too much space here. <laughs> oh. Right, here we go. How did you find this place? My friend, Ominous Gaunt. He named it the Undercroft. Okay. Revelia played God Souls here all the time. With Ooh. my sister, Anne. Oh. She loved that infernal game. What I wouldn't give to lose to her again. I should tell you, I swore to Ominous I would safeguard this place. So please, keep this between us. It's done. He it's between us. You, but he's trusted me since the day we met. I wouldn't want to jeopardize that. We used to sneak in here almost daily. We've never been caught. Explore the room. I've done it. I think I've seen Ominous in potions. Or was it Herbology? I've noticed that he uses his wand to navigate the castle. He does. No idea how, though. Ominous was born blind, and no spell could reverse it. His wand seems almost sentient. Not surprising, I suppose. Ollivander always says, the wand chooses the wizard. Is that how he found this place? No, someone in his family knew about it. The Gaunts are full of secrets. Hey. I've never heard anyone else speak of it. And I've certainly never seen anyone else here. Again, mention this to no one, especially Ominous. He has no love lost for his family or their secrets. But this place is special to him. Understood. But why does Ominous have no love lost for his family? I'm really his into the family into like Sebastian's story. Of Salazar Slytherin, one of the four Ooh. founders of Hogwarts, obsessed with blood status. Most of them, Ominous cannot abide them, as he'll be the first to tell you. Anyway, the Undercroft has been a perfect place to sneak off to, away from prying eyes, and even practice otherwise forbidden spells. Really. Like what? Like the blasting curse. Professors say it's not an appropriate spell to teach students. It sound, does sound... that's ridiculous. A proper magical education ought to include all magic. I agree. My thoughts exactly. A spell like Confringo is only truly dangerous in untrained hands. Such spells should be properly taught, not banned. To be fair, I'm admittedly partial to more fiery forms of magic. But you should learn it. I can teach it to you safely here. Oh, I'm learning dark magic, guys. It it's may take happen. a while to get the feel for it. Mimic my wand movement. Look. The incantation is Confringo. Very well. All right. Oh, no. Space. Right click. Space. Space. Oh, F, 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 F. Done. <gasps> okay. Who's gonna teach me You're dog magic? It. Ready to actually try it out? Stick yeah. To the targets, then. Sure, let's try it out. Best to keep the Undercroft intact. Expelliarmus. Have a go at those candelabras. Both what? have their uses. I did use it. There we go. But I think you are find the... Nice work. How's it feel? It's a tad hot. You're... That's it. I think I've got it. Well done. Okay. I have to say, I enjoyed that. The first time Ominous and I practiced Confringo, we singed our eyebrows. <laughs> I would have paid to see that. I swore we'd never live it down. So this day, there's something about that spell that's addictive. This is exactly the type of magic I've been hoping to learn. There's more where that came from. Been practicing similar spells here for ages. Although, I didn't tell Anne and Ominous about every one. I haven't been here in some time. It's not the same without Anne. I'm sorry about your sister. If there's anything I can do, I will perhaps do. when I next head to Feldcroft, you could come along. Meet Anne. She could use some cheering up. Just let me know when and I'll meet you. Oh, she misses Hogwarts. She's been stuck at home with our guardian, Uncle Solomon. Unfortunately, you'll have to meet him too. 
Well, meeting a new student will be precisely what she needs. I shall look forward to it. Cheers. By the way, what was it you couldn't discuss out in the hall earlier? I'm not sure where to start. You said something was missing from what you found in the library. I assume it's to do with what you told me. About the port key and Gringotts and Ranrock. Nothing gets past you. Ranrock. And yes, it is. As I'm sure you suspect, there is a bit more to all of this. I'm listening. Not ready to tell you everything. I'll tell you the truth. He's the gang man. Okay, he's from the gang. You must promise to keep this between us. I trusted you with knowledge of the secret Undercroft. You can trust me. All right. I can see traces of ancient magic. Ancient magic? I don't know what I was expecting you to say, but it wasn't that. What does that even mean? Honestly, I'm not entirely certain. All I know is that I can see whispers of an old magic that hardly anyone else can. Fig and I think that Ranrock has somehow found a way to harness that magic's power. Are you telling me that goblins may be wielding some sort of wizard magic? That's what we're trying to find out. And this ability of yours, does this allow you to wield this magic too? I... Uh, I don't know. Well, when you do know, tell me. I've been studying archaic forms of magic for ages. Perhaps we can help each other. Yes. In the meantime, with both Rookwood and Ranrock after you, I suspect a bit more time practicing the blasting curses in order. Spend as much time here as you'd like. And remember, <sighs> keep this place between us. I want to do the death charm, guys. When I <laughs> head to Feldcroft, I'll send you an owl. Okay. Okay, let's go. There we go. Oh no. Hello, Sebastian. Wait. You there? I can hear you. Oh, hello. Ominous, isn't it? I believe we have potions together. And herbology? I recognize that voice. Heard you talking to Gareth Weasley in potions class. You're the new fifth year. Did you just come from the Undercroft? How did you get in there? Actually, Sebastian brought me there. But he made it perfectly clear to keep quiet about it. That rat! You breathe a word about this place to anyone, and not even your precious Professor Fig will be able to help you. My father is friends with the Headmaster, and I'm not afraid to exploit that connection if I need to. Trust me, Ominous. I won't say a word. Why should I trust you? You just betrayed Sebastian. Please. I was trying to defend him. He was clear that this was a secret place and I was to tell no one. He's a good friend. I don't need you to tell me about my oldest friend. Thank you very much. Ominous, I just meant- I know what you meant. Sebastian gets himself in enough trouble. He doesn't need your help. Okay. He's not nice. Sebastian is going to get an earful about this. This guy's blind. Oh, he disappeared. Okay. Okay, let's talk to Fig now. He's back. You're back. Finally. Minister Spavin talks more than he listens. Ranted on and on about rogue dragons. Wouldn't listen to a word about goblins. Speaking of which... Listen, Professor. So much happened while you were away. Tell him. Your friend, Mr. Ollivander, sent me an owl asking for help finding an heirloom wand that was stolen from him. He did, did he? And so I went to the owlery, like he said, and there were all these statues. What do you mean, statues? In the owlery? Yes, which led me to a secret hideout where I found Richard Jackdaw's ghost. <laughs> Who on earth is Richard Jackdaw? <laughs> he was a student here long ago. Oh my god. Anyway, he told me about a secret cavern. He's talking in a roundabout way. Just get the to the point. Pages. You found the pages. I did. And because Jackdaw had followed the map they contained, when I found the pages, I found the location on the map. Believe it or not, it's a room below Hogwarts. Why am I not surprised? Shall we? We shall. I was hoping you'd say that. Let's go. Oh, and we'll need to bring the book. Oh, and we'll need to bring the book. Let's go. 
Here we go. The room is called the map chamber, by the way. Okay. And the portrait of Percival Rackham awaits us there. Professor Rackham. I look forward to meeting him. How did this Jackdaw get the pages from the book? Evidently, Peeves stole them, and Jackdaw stole them from him. Okay. Revelio <sighs> Peeves. Here we to go. Think. It was beneath us all this time. It was. It was. Oh God. I'm getting old. <laughs> I actually need to get some exercise in. I think I'm gonna... Like, I won't invest into a bike. And not like a motorbike. You know... Like bicycle, bicycle. Oh, place the book. This looks promising. All right. That looked magical. A map. There's Hogsmeade. And over here, it's the Hogwarts. Forbidden Forest. And, of course, Hogwarts. It's magnificent. Okay, where, where did that guy go? He was in the painting, right? If only you were here to see this. Oh, he's back. Hello, Professor Rackham. We've placed the book on the pedestal as you asked. And this is my mentor, Professor Fig. How do you do, Professor Fig? And you, my young friend, see now why you needed to return with the book? I do. I also see why you refer to this room as the map chamber. Okay. That you have come this far tells me that you possess extraordinary magical ability, the potential and power of which will unlock should you prove yourself worthy. The location of each of four trials will, in time, appear on the map. Trials that will test you and give you access to invaluable knowledge. Trials that you must complete on your own. What Do you XP? recall the pensive memory you viewed in my vaulting Gringotts? Yep, I do. You and your friend Charles spoke of the port key and of trials you'd created for one who could see traces of ancient magic. Precisely. Charles is another of the keepers, a designation we gave ourselves centuries ago in light of the knowledge that we have been bound to keep hidden. Until perhaps. I'm guessing now. all of them are so going to appear in the, the pictures. The passage from your ruins to Gringotts, everything in the vault, the restricted section, finding this room, none of these was a trial. They were an important part of the journey, but they were not trials themselves. The fact that you have come this far, however, bodes well. The trials okay. were designed to ensure that the power and knowledge we have kept secret for so long does not fall into the wrong hands. All right. They will test your abilities, both innate and learned. But mm. of equal importance, everything you witness as you complete the trials will inform what you choose to do with all that we share. Okay. You will need patience. The trials have much to teach you. It will take time. Don't worry. I'm afraid we don't have the luxury of time. We have waited this long, Professor Fig. Surely a few more. Respectfully, sir, while I do not know the secret you keep, I do know that our young friend here has seen traces. Traces of a powerful dark magic being wielded by goblin kind. And we encountered an uncommonly powerful goblin wielding such magic as we prepared to leave your vault at Gringotts. We may already be too late. This is grave news indeed. Young friend, do you trust Professor Fig? I do. 
Then, I in don't. the light of your considerable skill and all you have already accomplished, we shall begin. You will find the location of the first trial marked on the map below you. Whilst Professor Fig may assist you in locating the trials, they may be completed only by one with our ability. All right. Shall we have a look? I don't know. I should have done that. I know that tower. It's not far. You may have seen it yourself. Have I? It looks familiar. <laughs> Perhaps your young friend is more well-traveled than you might think. As your mentor, the least I can do is go ahead to make sure it is safe. Join me as soon as you can. I will. I will. I will. I'll find you at the tower as soon as I can. Yeah. Until then, be careful and do not tell anyone where you're going. All right. That's it, I guess. All right, guys. I guess this is it. I'm going to stop right here and I'll see you guys next time. Till then, take care of yourself. Remember to like and subscribe. Goodbye.